Well, hello there, uh, Konnichiwa, good morning to you all. So this will be my predictions discussion video for Bleach 543 that will came out next week or this week if you count Sunday as the first day of the week. Um, well, first my... what I think that Kubo might show us on next chapter. Well, I do think that uh, he will start... I'm hoping that he will start on the Van den Reich HQ uh, following that uh, cliffhanger that he left us in this chapter in the 532 chapter with Jua telling to all the certain readers that he got news or he has news for them so what news could that be? Honestly, I only see three hypotheses about this news. The first hypothesis is that he, he will announce that they will now will make a second attack on Soul Society. And that will be one of the reasons why he rallied all the stern readers. The second hypothesis for me is that he will reveal that uh, Ishigo Kurosaki regained his powers and that he will order the stern readers to hunt down his family and friends on the human world, trying to drove him away from Soul Society in a way that he did not take part on the combat eventual that will happen in a second invasion. And that is a plan that actually makes quite sense. He sending, a, let's say, a distraction force to the human world to force Ishigo and eventually Soul Society to send some reinforcements to the human world and then they strike back uh, by surprise like they did the first time. That, for me, as a strategy move, makes a lot of sense, in a way. And the third hypothesis that I pose is that he will announce that Uryo Ishida joined the ranks and I'm guessing that he will appoint Uryu as commander-in-chief of the, the remaining Stern Readers or of the Stern Readers right above uh, or above no right be um, a step back uh, from Jua. Jua will continue to remain the, commander in, the great commander-in-chief, but Ishida will take command of the Stern re Reaters and will ans answer only to Jua Bach. I think that could also be the announcement he wants to make to all the Stern Reaters or could be the three at the same time um, in a way the three are not uh, antagonists they could be the three could happen actually so well this is my prediction about uh, what Jua might be inform or tell the stern readers so if you have different opinions, different ideas, if you think that there are some other hypotheses that could also happen, please post your idea or your thoughts or your theory on the comments below and 
we have a small exchange of ideas. Then, also, uh, Kubo could again, and I think he will do it, uh, remain in Soul Society. And we will probably see Ishigo lefting uh, the palace of Nimaya and go to the following palace that I'm guessing it will be Shutara Palace uh, and I'm guessing that there he will train or will try to master both Zangetsus because I don't think that the role of Nimaya will be training Ishigo on that way I, it makes a lot more sense if the role for training it will be with Shutara because she is a scientist, a researcher, like Kurahara, like Mayuri, so she probably has some special place or some device or something like that that allows Ishigo to train his powers and eventually to relearn how to unleash his real Bankai because I'm not thinking that I think that the Bankai of Ishigo at this point he will need the activation sequence using both Sangetsus. Uh, I saw a video I don't remember the, the reviewer but I saw a video where one of the reviewers say that we, we should not forget that the Espada sorry for forgetting your name that the Espada for activating their resurrection form they need to do something to their Zenpakuto that's true I guess that will also be the case of Ishigo because also from the guys in Soul Society that, that use a dual blade type Zenpakuto this Kyoraku and Ukitaki both before they enter in Shikai mode they kinda need to put their swords together and do some chant or some incantation to activate their Shikai so that could also happen in this case not with the Shikai because I think that from the image we saw on last chapter Ishigo will continue to be on a constant release state so his Shikai, since the start, is already activated, but I'm guessing you will now need to make or discover or something like that to make an activation sequence to enter in Bankai mode. That's my prediction or my hypothesis on Ishigo. Also, uh, I end, like I say, I guess the role of Shutara as a researcher and scientist like Mayuri did, like Urahara did, will be help Ishigo out on that process. That's my prediction for that. And also, in terms of powers, in terms of powers, well, um, I know that the, uh, I watch several videos and a lot of people are not believing that uh, Ishigo could use a bow or some, something similar to a bow. I actually do think that eventually he will have something similar to a bow because if you see the big Zangetsu has a hole on the blade, right? So. If he wants to use some Quincy powers, let's picture that this is the big Zangetsu, right? With the hole here, right? So we have, and this black pen will be the small Zangetsu or the Quincy Zangetsu, the representation of Quincy Zangetsu. So if Ishigo plans to use some Quincy abilities, what he will need to do is to do this 
insert the small zangetsu into the hole of the big zangetsu and it make a cross. This could be used as a handmade bow. I don't know if that could happen, but it's a possibility that will happen in the future for him to use some Quincy projectiles or some Quincy arrows or something similar to Quincy arrows. Because even we need to have this in mind. Ishigo does not use normal Shinigami powers or in a normal way. So I'm thinking that even if he does use some Quincy abilities, they will not be dispelled or show as on the normal way the Quincy's do it. So, but this is about a bow, and I'm not saying he will get a bow, I'm only saying that it's possible that, that he could use the tools and Getsus to make something similar to a bow, eventually. But I'm not saying that he will use that as his main attack power. It's not on the character of Ishigo. And even if the sm he uses a Reishi sword like uh, Juan uses, or like um, I think that there is a stern reader that also uses Bambieta. I think it's Bambieta. Bambieta also does not use a bow. I think she uses a sword. And that uh, mustache guy that fought against Kyuraku, he does not use bows. He, do not, he does not use a uh, sword. He uses guns. So, um, even if the normal way of the princes he use a bow or something similar to a bow, it's not mandatory that all the Quincy's use that techniques or they could use that technique in a way but with small variations and I'm saying that Ishigo could also use some Quincy abilities but with his own variations it's possible uh, honestly I also do think that we will continue to see Gets to get into, but I'm guessing that he will eventually be able to fire a double gets to get into. I guess that's a given. But I'm do hoping that he gains other abilities uh, and discover his elemental power and discovers other techniques. Um, I'm hoping that Kubo do that with Ishigo. Then on to what I think that we will might be seeing on next chapter. So I think that we could see, like I say on the beginning of the video, what is happening on the Vanderbilt's HQ. Probably we were we will have some uh, last small exchange of words between Nimai and Ishigo. And then Nimaya will send Ishigo to the other palace, I'm guessing. Uh, I actually wanted to see what did happen to Renji, Rukia and Byakuya. I wanted to see what happened to them. And also, I still wanted to see the end of the fight between Komamura and his great-grandfather. I'm hoping that we could see a little more of his Agi training, but I doubt it, but I could be wrong, but I doubt it. I also wanted that finally Kubo reveal as if Unoana is dead or he is not dead, what happened with her for real. And. Well, I do want to see Grim Jo, but like I say on the beginning of the video, if the Van der Reich do those use a plan that send a small force to the human world to hunt down Ishigo family and friends, 
I'm guessing that eventually in that situation if Soul Society is unable to send reinforcements to the Union world I think that it's possible that we will see Grim Jo actually step in into the fight alongside Urahara well this is my prediction theories hypothesis discussion video for bleach 543 hope you enjoy and if you have your idea ideas comments don'ts post it below so stay well peace see you soon